Nice decor, nice ambiance in here. <gasps> it's Dave! Oh my god, I just got the love of my life. Little Dickie! I love Dickie. Dickie. <gasps> hey, bro. I'm just watching your video. Just some oh. It's actually sick, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. I also do like how he separates himself a lot from like people that he knows that you know that he's friends with Justin. He separates though. <laughs> how are you? I'm so good. Good, man. good, good. Best I've ever um, been in my life, I think. I got a roll. Um, you're gonna come tonight, right? Yeah, of course. Cool, cool, cool. Party tonight. Come to my house. Your house party? Yeah, my house party. Come uh, on, hang. Let me think about what I had going on, uh, and I've thought about it. There's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I was actually just gonna pipe. Pipe. Yeah, pipe. Play it by ear. It's a new acronym that I'm trying to get off the ground. Okay. Um, I know he made that shit up on the spot. But I don't know if I would show off pipe to, to Justin Bieber. You know, it's got no legs yet. Nothing. <laughs> if you pushed it, who knows, but. And by the way, my girlfriend is your biggest fan. She's biggest upset. fan. Yeah, she's yeah upset. No, I never heard that before. No, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> Real good idea, man. You got anything else? He's probably gonna remember this the rest of his life. <laughs> I love how awkward he is. This show's so awkward, but like in all the best ways. It's so good. I'm absolutely a little Dickie fan. I've, I've been listening to his music, I've known him for years, and I was so excited when I heard that he had a TV show. So though the show is about the rap game, it mainly focuses on Dave's day-to-day -day life, and oftentimes gets really awkward. You talking to grown men in, bro. That's right. Standard oh, nothing awkward than that, of course. That's right, everything good. You know house rules. Are you uh, good? You're poofed, you everything? Man, I'm good. All right, I'm one kiss on the cheek and I am out oh, of here. Oh, I'm cool and all that oh funny stuff. Just one kiss and I'm gone, Comb. You have to poop? Oh, this made my dad die. Literally, this scene, it, it, I've never seen my father laugh harder in his life. Yes, please stop talking to me for one second. <laughs> okay, can we walk it off? I don't believe so. No, this is not a drill <laughs> at all. Please turn away or something. I need to figure this out. You have to hold it in. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God! Look away! Look away! Look away! Oh, oh no! 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 Oh. Oh. oh! Okay. Oh. <sighs> I reinvented diarrhea. What brings you in today? So a few days ago, I was shaving, and I noticed these red bumps on my pubiscus. That's like my favorite running part about the show is just how absurd his dick is. And I just wanted pubiscus. Pubiscus. Probably not the medical term for it. Uh, like where your pubic hair would be <laughs> if you didn't shave it all the way. Oh. Oh yeah. Copy that. All yeah. right. So well, let's take a look. Yes, and I know this is gonna sound so absurd, but before I can just show you my penis, I do have to kind of explain a few things about it to you. You gotta put the okay. penis in context. I just have like a very bizarre situation down, okay. When I was born, I came out of the womb with a tangled urethra, so immediately they had to go in and do all types of surgery to it. As a result, there's so much scarring down there. Sure. And then, I mean, you know how the skin on your testicles is yeah. a different type of skin than the skin on your penis? It's more chicken skinned or ribbed. Yeah. So my dick skin is actually made of that exact same style of ribbing, all the way up my shaft, ribs. So my theory <laughs> the is, when they had to replace the hacked off dick skin, they used my testicle skin to replace it, which would mean that my dick is made of balls. <laughs> Doctor. People don't want to watch a show where you're making peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then wrapping. They want to hear you talk about your weird dick in a comedic way. A lot of the stuff that he's including in the show are genuine experiences, and not only him, but like other people go through and he's just amplifying it. It's way better than rappers who fake their actual lifestyle. I mean, at least Lil Dicky is being honest with his life and he's being funny while doing it. So I think that's just like, you know, talent. Along with telling very personal stories about his life, Dave has also brought some of his real friends onto the show with him. Hey, I'm Lil Dicky. I have a small penis and I stress out about things. This is Gator. He's my hype man. Yeah, Gator, tell him about is yourself. Hype man. Man. What up, what up? It's your boy Gator, sunglass connoisseur, pizza oh. lover. I'm bipolar and I'll take your girl to the solar. Sunglass connoisseur, bipolar, and I'll take your girl to the solar. Period. That's me. I didn't think he was going to get into mental illness, but man, this is the type of. Very I honest. I appreciate it. From this group. This is my DJ, Els. Tonight, you're gonna see one of the best rappers alive give probably the best show you've ever seen. And you're gonna love Meek Mill. But before that, <laughs> enjoy us because we are on the cusp of greatness. And to be honest, I don't even know how we got here. It's just a great thing to say before opening for someone. You're gonna love Meek Mill. But before that. Benny Blanco, who you saw earlier in the first video, is one of Lil Dicky's real life best friends. So what are your thoughts on friendships like these? I mean, that's pretty amazing for 
for him to be able to take his real life friends. Well, Be Benny Blanco didn't need to be on the show. I mean, he's great on the show, but you know, I think that's a real show character. I think that's very cool. It's really, really important to have like really good like connections, but then also like in the industry, I feel like it's awesome, but it's also really cool that they could like grow. Like obviously in those friendships, there was a lot of growing like personally and professionally. Dave, how much longer are you gonna be doing this? So long, I can't stop. Dave, you can literally say anything I'm to Otis and it'll be funny. Like that's how, that's his like vibe, that's his energy. I know I'm late, but it's okay. No, we don't have time to wait. Oh. We're gonna. She likes how she sounds. She said that tuner made me sound good. You remember when you got all mad because I threw out that flyer? That was not She's a great flyer. actress. I, I would totally believe that they were actually yes, in a relationship. Had a rose. In the show, Dave falls in love with his girlfriend, Allie, who you just saw. And he has to balance having the relationship with trying to be the greatest rapper of all time. Does it go according to plan? Well, we'll see. I want to be in a relationship where I'm not always put second. Listen to her. What she's saying might be true or is true. She's feeling it. You're not always put second. I am. Look, look right now. Look where we are. You realize that I have like the biggest decision to make of my whole career this weekend. Has to be I made know. this weekend. I'm here with you and your family. Didn't even consider staying back. Mike's like, why the f are you not there? I'm not saying. What, what do you want me to do? Deprioritize? Their fight's annoying. No. But I guess they're doing a good job of being actors. That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, what? Because you treat it like it's your whole life. There like has to be something else in life besides this one. Like something else like in goal. life. Something more than like actualizing my sense of self and like oh feeling like I'm maximizing God, my potential. Dave, You're you asking me to sacrifice that. That's absurd. You, Dave, you is, don't get it. No, you don't get it. And I, and I can't keep apologizing for my ambition just because you don't have any. Mm. <laughs> Ouch. That was. Jesus, no. See, I love the character that he's hes obviously incredibly smart, but he has no filter and is such a narcissist. That must have been really hard for him to write in, but also, like, I'm glad he did, because it shows that he, like, grew the f up. Hopefully. If you truly do not have the time to put into a relationship, then it's, you. I guess you have to make a choice. You're gonna have to make a choice between between a relationship or your career. It's definitely doable for a lot of for some people, but to get there, it's definitely difficult. Knowing that he only had himself to blame for his success or failure, Lil Dicky got the chance to freestyle and show the world what he was made of on the Breakfast Club in front of Charlemagne the God. Y'all probably didn't know what this was. Y'all probably about Street to hop style. on this bus. If you know somebody yeah. that'll call my bluff and line them all up, they will all need hugs. Hugs, and hugs. In my own lane, like bowling pins. I'm so dumb. I, I just know. love his freestyles that they're just so fing absurd. <laughs> It just goes so hard. Just whatever he says, just it goes so hard. My dick sucks so bad. Y'all don't even want to know the details. You don't want to know about the surgeries. No way he's rapping about his dick right now. In great detail too. It's almost like look it up. I love when my fans are black. I'm a little tone deaf. Yeah, what of it? You know my heart is in the right place. I've been working like a dog this bitch. And that phrase like I am. I'll be the first to say I I do not listen to rap very often. But when someone can like go off on a freestyle like that, it's very respectable. And I can definitely vibe to it. I know I'm privileged. Yeah, let's not even go there. Out here f***ing it up. But I'm still Wait, little body, but the voice sound tough. Hold on, but they He definitely overshares sometimes randomly, but that's okay. Yeah. That's cool. The flow's still there. Oh my god. I can't. He is good. Ralph Lauren. Okay, see ya. And it's, I give so much respect people who give, I can't, I can't do that. Like, where do they, what does it come from? Yeah, I just would love to see him channel all of those bars that flow those melodies into actual like topics that everybody could relate to. As of filming this episode, season two has just gotten underway and it's all about the pressure to succeed. Do you know when the song's coming out? Uh, oh my god, that's um. Video of all time tomorrow. Uh, by the way, oh my gosh, I know her. She's a Korean so um, a rapper, singer. I to go CL. Crazy festivals, you yeah, know, yeah. this is a global song. So I, it's... Oh yeah, when we went to Korea. I just she doesn't give up. Korea. She's like, who the f is this cat? <laughs> Did they actually make a song together? Oh my god, I wish. <laughs> See what I'm seeing? Oh, fuck, does this work? Oh, 
cool, yeah. The pressure of everyone expecting like everything he makes to be just like insane. He tries to sit down and write and he just like can't get the get the fire to flow. Writing is the hardest part, especially when you sit down and you're looking at like, you know, recording and you're sitting there and you're like, oh, what the hell do I even do? Where do I start? I love bar mitzvahs. This guy's paying us three times Dave's normal rate, so we just gotta do what he wants. I'm I love that he's sitting around with just bar mitzvah kids. I'm sure it was his life, it was totally my life. We're living right now, so really soak it all up. Have you met Lil Nas X? <laughs> no. Lil Nas X. I'm Dave. You might know me as Lil Dicky. Is there any advice that you'd want to give Dave Bird, AKA Lil Dicky, if you were to see this episode? If you were to see this episode? I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. Um. If he does see this, you know, Lil Dicky, I love you, man. You know, follow me on Instagram and do whatever you want. Any advice? I can't give this man advice. I mean, he knows what he's doing. Dave, I love your show. Keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna be the best rapper of all time. I feel like he would give advice to me. How could I give Lil Dicky any advice? I mean, you've done it. You're an incredible rapper. You're an amazing comedian. You're a great actor. I mean, just keep doing what you're doing. That's what I'm, that's, keep doing you. Don't let anybody try to put you in a box. I think it's very refreshing that you're giving us a comedic take on real life situations, stuff that you've been through, even though it's been hard, you've been able to flip it. You're creative. I mean, every I've never once in my life heard someone rap the way you do about the stuff that you do and create music videos like you do. So just keep doing exactly what you're doing. <laughs> you're a big deal, bro. I love you and so many other people love you. And you've made quite an impact on people, for sure, for sure.